Hello my beautiful people if this video seems rushed it so is. I'm stressing out. So much is going on and I just want to write and get content out. I got super busy and distracted and I have a lot to do tomorrow. Well basically today it's like 1am and I really want to get a Halloween video out on Halloween so I'm going to get into working on that as you're probably watching this. Anyways I'm so sorry it's not as detailed and well written. Hope you guys enjoy. Kajima it isn't a big deal stop freaking out. It is a big deal what do you mean? And I am not freaking out huffing with anger face. Red angry face. Dude, you have slept over with Hinata before. Yeah at camp with all you guys. Not alone lone you know. Just keep it in your pants and you'll be fine. What? OMG. You're going to be fine I'm surprised it's not Hinata having a breakdown. Oh no, he is just not in the group chat. Oh my god you two. Just treat this sleepover as a sleepover because that is what it is. Got it. Horizontal ellipsis. Kajima left the chat. Shoyo. Yes, everything okay? Yapsu are you still coming over later today? For the sleepover? Yeah, the sleepover. Yup, sleepover. At your house. Together. Yup. Haha <laughs> I will text you later then smiling face. Okay, 3. Hinata left chat. Kenma he used the lil heart emoji I taught him. Nice. You still freaking out over your guy's sleepover. Uh. I'll take that as a yes. He's so cute and hot. What if I like say something or do something? Just calm down. Breath keep your shit together. You'll be okay. Yeah. You're right that's what I will do. Okay. See ya. A few hours later. Tobio. Yeah? I'm here. Kajima basically threw his phone from his hands on his bed. He shot to his feet, stumbled to the front door and stood in front of it, calming himself before opening the door to see that bright smile that just makes his heart melt. H hi. H hey. He clears his throat moving from the door letting the ginger step inside his house. His heart raced at the fact he's going to be sleeping in his bed and sharing his space with him tonight. I do you like, want something to drink or? I'm okay, could I put my bag in your room though? Ah right yeah. They walked to Kajima's overly clean room as he was fixated on making sure it was before Hinata arrived. Kajima walked over to his bed sitting on the edge watching Hinata awkwardly steer back at him. Look, how about we both stop freaking out and just not overthink this, okay? Yeah that's probably a good idea. What should we do? Hinata smiled walking over to a volleyball picking it up from the floor. Kajima smiled at him getting to his feet they both headed outside. Wow, you have a whole volleyball set up. Hinata's eyes sparkled with joy running over checking out the net and ball set up perfectly. Can you throw some sets to me? Sure. Kajima tried suppressing the smile failing at the excitement in Hinata's voice and actions. Oiboke. Kajima spoke softly walking up to Hinata pulling him in for a kiss. Their lips pressed against each other's Hinata's flutters shut as he pushed into the kiss Kajima to that as a sign to push back letting their lips move together. The move Kajima leant down into the kiss the heated it got on Hinata's end their tongues brushing together they pulled away. Faces flushed red. Um. Kajima cleared his throat, stepping back a little. Sorry, I. What? It's okay. I mean we have kissed before. Just. Not like that. The tension grew thick as they slowly walked back to opposite sides of the net still on the same side. Okay shall we? Yup. Hinata straightened his posture and focused on where the ball was going to come from. A good 20 minutes went by the two now sitting on the cold ground cooling their burning skin. Chest heaving with each breath they looked over at each other catching each other's tired gaze. Why are we so worn out already? The two had a pretty good idea why they were frustrated. They had kissed multiple times. It was quick pecks that lasted maybe 2-5 seconds but nothing like before. Both the boys couldn't get it out of their heads it was drowning any other thoughts and the more they thought about it the hotter it got. 
Hinata looked over watching as Kajima threw his shirt to the side. The sweat glistened on his toned body. Oh. He whispers under his breath he had seen Kajima shirtless multiple times but, this was different somehow he just couldn't put a finger on it. H hey I. Kajima looked over at Hinata raising an eyebrow watching as he tripped over his tongue. What? Never mind. No. What? Um. D do you maybe. It sounds stupid now just forget about it. Hinata stood up smiling. Kajima followed after him grabbing his arm pulling him back. Kajima? What was it? Tell me. He spoke softly the blush on his cheeks visible causing Hinata to blush even harder. Do you think we could, maybe, kiss like that again? He looked away, completely embarrassed, and Kajima's eyes widened in surprise. Had to keep himself composed on the outside but he was freaking out. In all honesty, he was thankful Hinata asked because he had no idea how he was going to do. Why yes. Should we go to your room? Hinata was cut off by Kajima pulling him and kissing him hard. Hinata wrapped his arms around Kajima's neck pulling him down into his lips as they moved sloppily around each other's mouths. Hinata let his tongue brush against Kajima's lips he felt Kajima hesitate before doing the same. Soon their tongues were moving around each other's mouths both letting out grunts and gasps. Kajima was so aware of every action that was taking place right now. It felt hard to breathe after a while so he pulled away both catching their breath. Wow. That was. The two headed upstairs where the tension grew thick. Kajima headed for a shower Hinata followed shortly after letting Kajima get dressed in his bedroom with privacy. Hinata walked out of the bathroom dressed in an oversized shirt and he smiled. Walking over to Kajima sitting next to him on his bed. What did you want to do? Totally not make out. Hinata thought to himself scratching the back of his neck. We could watch a movie? Okay. Kajima got under the covers moving closer to the wall Hinata sat up against the wall watching as Kajima picked out a movie for them he didn't really mind what movie it was. His mind was deep in the gutter he watching the way Kajima's bare chest moved with each breath. The water dripping from his damp hair falling on his shoulders the way his slender fingers gently wiped the water droplets away from his neck. Hinata's mind began filling with thoughts. What would his reaction be if I kissed his neck could I leave a mark? Shoyo? M.M.? He shook his head quickly, averting his gaze to the TV. He could feel Kajima's burning gaze on him. What are you thinking about? Nothing in particular. M.M. Kajima shifted closer to Hinata, their bare thighs touching slightly. Hinata leant into Kajima resting his head on Kajima's shoulder he shifted his gaze from Kajima's neck to the TV every few seconds thoughts still flooding in. What? And nothing Hinata quickly turned his gaze away from Kajima looking down at him. If you want to kiss me just kiss me, dummy. Hinata's stomach did flips. He smiled up at Kajima placing a kiss on his lips he pulled away keeping his eyes on Kajima's as he slowly and hesitantly placed a kiss on Kajima's neck. Kajima flinched at the attention to his neck. His cheeks grew red at the soft pecs Hinata left. Ah is this okay? Kajima responded by grabbing Hinata's waist pulling him onto his lap he leant in kissing Hinata passionately the small noise that escaped Hinata's voice as they kissed sent shivers up Kajima's spine. He let his head rest against the wall as Hinata began kissing at his neck again a new sensation flushed through both their bodies. Wake up. Wake up. Hinata's eyes slowly opened to the sound of the godly annoying alarm Tanaka set on his phone. He grabbed the phone from the bedside table only for two arms to pull him back into a warm body. The memories of the intense makeout session raced into Hinata's sleepy head and he sat up immediately earning an unpleasant groan from Kajima as his arms wrapped around his hips. Five more minutes and I promise I will set it for you. Kajima sleepy spoke slurring his words. Hinata looked down at his boyfriend's shirtless torso. Marks spread from his neck to upper torso. He pulled his oversized shirt out away from his covered skin revealing the same type of hickeys. Oh. It's cold boat. Kajima basically dragged Hinata back under the covers pulling him close. Hinata watched Kajima's sleeping face strands of hair covering his eyes god he knew he would love to wake up to this every morning. 
Hey, Yama? M.M. Kajima softly hummed, still keeping his eyes closed. How are we going to explain these? SHH sleep it's too early and you're warm. He nuzzled into Hinata drifting back to a peaceful sleep Hinata stayed awake for a while blushing before relaxing into Kajima's grip. Thank you.